Hey everybody, it is Supergirl KY here with a Cricut creation, and today we are sprucing up that fireplace with a fall banner. Now I went into projects and just typed in Thanksgiving. There's thousands upon thousands of ideas. There's even different kinds of fall banners. I found this one and liked it the best. It's pretty straightforward. I made sure all the browns were the same color brown and all of the other <laughs> colors lined up. I also welded together the leaves with the pine cones so that they all came out in one piece. Now you don't have to do this. You can unweld what I welded and I believe how they had it was that they just curled those leaves. Um, but I liked it flat and simple. Plus that way when storing it to be used for next year, those curls would be then flat. So I just made them flat already and I cut to the chase. So here I am figuring out the best way to minimize the amount of paper I am using. And once I was satisfied, I went ahead and clicked continue. And I laid out all my materials and I got to cutting. Once everything was all cut, I laid it out and I found this really cute goldish ribbon. And all you're going to do here is just glue everything down. You could also technically use double sided tape, but that would be using a lot of double sided tape. So I just went the route of glue. And there's not really too many things to glue down. So you just rinse and repeat this process. And then once you're done, you're going to wait for them to all dry to then adhere them to the ribbon. Now I used just double sided tape and it actually held onto the ribbon so that way I can reuse the ribbon down the line for different projects. You could hole punch the corners and slide it through like a typical like happy birthday banner. Um, you could also hot glue each one onto the ribbon. There's oodles upon oodles of different ways you can put these all on. At the end of the day, this turned out extremely cute and is hanging 
over my fireplace as we speak. It is just absolutely adorable. Now if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you want to be notified every time I post a new video, go ahead and click that bell. And if you want me to make any future crafts, please comment below your ideas. I will also post a link in the description below to this design as well as the music I used. As always, it has been a pleasure and have a super day.